Hey there, it's Rachel from All About The House. In this video, I'm sharing an Erin Condren planner haul. So totally obsessed with all of the cute stuff on her website. I had trouble controlling myself, so I ended up with quite a good haul. So let's do a quick flip through of all the cute stuff that I got. So let's start with the interchangeable covers. Totally love that they've introduced these interchangeable covers. This really nice loose one, and I love that on the back of it, they've shaded out the pattern so you can write on it and turn it into a functional planning space. Totally love it when things are cute and functional. Next one I got was this interchangeable divider where you can put in a title along um, the bottom here. So if you were doing like your school subjects, I'm going to use it for like blog planning and then I can have like social media and then post ideas, etc. And then again, it's got that um, cover on the back that you can write on. I got this one, which I thought was a nice quote, but I liked it even more because of this adorable strap background. How cute is that? Totally love anything rainbow, and if it's got rainbow and glitter, totally sold. I kind of wish I'd got another one because it's so cute. Next one I got was this one with a cute quote, but again, I liked it better because of the pattern. Totally love these gold foil polka dots. How cute is that? Then I got a blog planner cover. I really like the pattern on this one because it was something really different. It's not something that I would normally um, design in Photoshop. And so I was like, that's really cute. I'm going to get that one. And I really liked that this one had a divider that has like a flag banner where you can put a title and then jot down everything below it. So also with it was these wet erase markers that you can write on. Um, or I'm just going to probably try it out with some plain whiteboard markers because they'll probably be cheaper. Um, from like the cheap shop than the genuine ones from Erin Condren. Next one I got was a good to go planner. So these are the ones that you can't customize the cover, it's already done for you. Um, so they're on the go and this one was, I think it's the horizontal? It is, yes, the horizontal. So I really like that they changed up the colors this year because I really hated the colors that they picked for the vertical. Like green and yellow are absolutely revolting color combinations. Absolutely cannot stand that. And purple and gray. The colors were just gross and it made me not want to use the planner. So I kind of ended up um, switching out to some other printable planners that I'd done. And I kind of didn't use my planner as much um, with the Erin Condren. So maybe with the horizontal um, I might use it a bit more because of the colors are way prettier. Like look how nice they are. Love that green. And there's so much um, space to write. I really like that they split it with um, the two boxes so you can do like your meal planning and that they've got line because my writing is always really crooked so the lines will keep it nice and straight. I do wish that they had made these lines either got rid of them altogether and extended and added another line for each um, day. I reckon that would be way more functional or if they just made it like fatter so you could put um, like a title up here if you're doing like you know Saturday is the day that you do your blog planning and Sundays like your meal planning or whatever you wanted to do. I feel like it's a bit of wasted space um, when they do these little thin coloured strips. Anyway, that's really my only gripe about that one. Uh, oh, next one I got was these cute gold stickers in the carry um, pouch. So this was like a discount kit. Comes with the elastic band and then the pen cover and then also got this cute notebook. Um, I do love a good notebook, but I probably don't have a use for it because I'm not really a fan of the um, glue bound type notebooks. Or uh, well, this one's like a stitch staple bound because they don't lay flat when I'm using them. And that is like a pet hate for me. So I'll probably give that one to my mum. And then these ones are so cute though. I totally love the gold on these stickers. How adorable is that? Oh, they're so cute. I kind of don't want to use them because they're so adorable. All right, next thing I got was these that they send free, these like stickers. I mean, they're cute and all, but to be honest, I probably won't use them that much. And it kind of does bug me when they put in all this stuff and say, oh, it's free. And it's like, yeah, you factor that into the price of the planner. So it's technically not free. Um, anyway, and the next one I got was this cute mouse pad. And I personalized it with my name. On the website, this was more of a, like a lighter pink. This is quite dark pink in person. It was more of like this color pink because um, I wanted it to be match. Uh, matching so I was a bit disappointed with the color of that um, but it is quite cute I actually prefer the rainbow back of this if they had an option where you could have just this rainbow stripe without all the Erin Condren branding I totally would have brought that because I love this rainbow color scheme that's so pretty next thing I got was a wellness journal I'm not sure if I'll end up using this one very often because again it's got this type of binding but it was literally only like three dollars on sale so I just grabbed it anyway and I really love the rainbow colors in this one like this color scheme is so nice I love a good rainbow spread so I thought this one was quite cute to get things out of my planner and put it in one of these so it's not like so cluttered uh, next thing they come with these pouches um, I think I'll 
like punch the holes down the side so I can slip it in and keep it um, in my planner rather than it just being loose because I can see this easily falling out. So there was a couple of those. Um, next one was a cute magnetic bookmark. So I actually ordered two magnetic bookmarks, but the story was that they sent my order. Um, okay, so I ordered Black Friday and the 23rd of December they sent me an email saying, your order hasn't shipped yet. And I was like, um, WTF, like where the heck is my order? Um, and they were like, yeah, one of more items is out of stock. It was the second one of these bookmarks and we actually haven't shipped your order yet. And I'm like, right, so it's taken you a month to contact me and tell me that. I ordered from Plum Paper on the same day and I received my order on the 23rd and you're only just telling me that it hasn't even been shipped yet. So I sent a complaint and they replied within like one or two days and then they shipped out my order, but they didn't um, include in the Vene bookmark because it was still out of stock. Um, anyway, story goes, I got like one of those little your items out of stock, contact them again and said, can you send it or can you just refund me? And they were like, no, we sent it. And I'm like, no, seriously, you haven't. And even on the packing slip, they hadn't. Anywho, really petty gripe. They ended up refunding it. Um, it did take like two months to sort out that order though. So if you haven't got your order, like don't wait as long as I did, just contact them and be like, I haven't got it and sort it out real quick. Um, otherwise you'll probably be waiting around because their communication and customer service is not the best. All right. So I got this cute Ombre cover. Now it was $5 extra to get this little like um, silver like foil on it. I would not pay that again because I mean, it's cute and all, but an extra five bucks just for that. Yeah, I don't think it was worth it. Anyway, this one was the neutral. So I love that they put out a neutral version. So it's really simple. And then you can jazz it up with pretty colored stickers. I got the hourly layout for this one. I'm usually not much of an hourly planner, but I thought I'll give it a go. I may end up just turning these into a massive to-do list for the day, for the weekdays, because I work a day job. And then on the weekend, I'll probably keep it with hourly. I don't like that it starts from 6 a.m. though. Like I'm not up at 6 a.m. I get up at like 9 a.m. on the weekend and go through until like midnight or 1 a.m. So I'm going to make some stickers and stick them over the top to turn it into the hours that I would actually use. Um, it is quite a lot of planning space and I love that it's got these dashed lines so you can write on them and keep your writing nice and straight. So they've got really nice, just simple little pop of color with the black. So I really love the neutral. I Kind of wish I'd ordered neutral for everything, um, but anyway, it's always next year. The last thing that I got was a teacher planner. So I'm not a teacher, but I did like the layout with how sectioned off it was, where they have all the different sections for the subjects, and I'm going to use it for a blog and business planner. So, sorry, I'll just get rid of all this out of the way. So I designed a custom cover and uploaded it to their website. I did a tutorial on my blog on how to do that if you're interested. Um, to be honest, I'm a bit disappointed in the print quality because if I zoom in, you may not be able to see it, but in person, this text is quite fuzzy, like it's not a nice, sharp, straight line. It's a bit fuzzy how it's printed, and this was supposed to be a teal colour, and it's more of a mint. I'm not really a fan of mint, um, so I was quite disappointed in the print quality. And as far as the laminating goes, the laminate on the Erin Condren planners, it's okay, but it's not actually that thick. To be honest, with the price that they charge, I do expect a bit thicker laminate, and I thought they would have upgraded that since last year, but they haven't. So keep that in mind. Um, I'm probably going to do a DIY Erin uh, Condren cover, so I'll be sharing a tutorial for that on the blog. Make sure you subscribe if you want to know when that one goes live. So they've got all these other like generic stuff that would apply to a teacher, but because I'm not, I'll probably just rip those pages out. Um, some cute graph paper. Love the colors on this. They're very nice. All right, so we've got a nice big calendar. So I love when there is lots of space to write. These are huge squares. It's probably about, I reckon, one point, about 1.25 squares. I'll have to measure it up. Um, include the size in the link below, in the comments below. Um, but it is a nice big planning space. I would probably prefer when they get, I don't really like when calendars have these dates at a glance because I feel like it's a lot of dead space. Like I can just flick through to the front of the planner where they have those important dates pages or I have one on the pin board above my desk anyway. So I'll probably make some stickers to cover that up. Um, but I do like how simple and open-ended it is, nice and clean design, and that it's undated. It's really hard to find a nice undated um, calendar. I know there's some, but they're kind of like generic, just black and white. So this one has nice pops of colour and then you can just write in the dates in here. So quite like that. Lots of nice big lined writing space. Cute quote. And then that's all the months. 
Then we go into the lessons. So this was the reason that I brought it because I like how it's got all these different sections. So I'm going to make some stickers and go like um, products of what I'm working on and then I can list out all the tasks down here. I like there's lots of lines for each day and I can go like blog post drafting, social media, um, Etsy, etc. So I can keep everything nice and sectioned off. And I also like that for each day it's got different colors. So that's good for color coding. Um, so that one's not entirely sure how I'm going to lay that out. That's my plan to just have like by categories and then assign it for each day. Um, but I'll see how it goes. I'll have to do a post on the blog. And then this one is the student checklist, but I'm actually going to use it as a workflow. So when I design a planner, I have like the planner name and then all the different tasks along the top here. So like um, researching, draft, design the papers, test print them. Um, test them and then tweak make the image photos etc so then I can put all my work up the top here if you were like a freelancer and you did client work you could put all your clients up the top um, so I really do like this workflow um, template and I like that it's got all the different colors as well it looks really pretty because I love rainbow so that was pretty much the teacher planner they all have the stickers at the back um, as well and then this one has a nice big pocket folder which is quite sturdy and then again that like dashboard at the back and another one of these pouches um, which they've put in a bigger pouch, which is kind of weird, but cool. Anyway, so that is my Erin Condren haul. Oh, one other thing. I got these little perpetual calendars, so I'm not really sure how I'm going to use this one. Maybe for daily blog post um, planning or social media scheduling. Um, I might have to do some YouTube stalking on how other people have used these because I'm not entirely sure when you've got like the main calendar in your planner it kind of ends up being a bit um, redundant to have one of these but they sent it for free so I'll see if I can get some use out of it. So that is what I got in my Erin Condren haul, a couple of cute interchangeable covers, a couple of planners and then some wet erase markers which I'm keen to try out how they compare with the cheap shop. Um, one thing they didn't really put the cover on correctly for this one it's like missing a coil so that's a bit um, weird. But I'll see if I can fix that because that's a bit wonky. Anywho. Um, so, yeah, that's it for this video. Uh, I'll include links below to a couple of other planner hauls that I've done, like the plum paper one, which I have to say I do prefer better than the Erin Condren. Um, so, I'll include a link below if you wanted to go check that one out. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more planner related videos as well as my blog. Thanks for watching.